Hey there, friends. I wanted to put out a video explaining some of the things that I'm trying to do to protect uh, the paint on my vehicle as I come and go. You'll notice on this sill right here, I got the decorative Ford plates right there that go on top. That's the like the black mirror finish or something like that. It looks great whenever it's brand new and it goes down. However, I noticed that I was starting to get it scuffed up pretty good, which meant that obviously my paint was taking a beating too. At the time when I noticed that, the clear coat hadn't been worn off yet, but I, again, I knew that I was probably eating away at it with my work boots. I get in and out of my vehicle a lot with work boots on, and just the nature of how I get out, it tends to drag my foot across there, and I actually I've put a three inch lift on this thing, so it does make it a little bit more of a challenge, so I'm not hopping right into it like I would a car. Anyway, I noticed that I was starting to beat the sill a little bit, even below this little protective plate that you see right here. The Ford plate goes up here, but you have this corner, this edge right here, and even another edge below that. Well, I went online, and it's just on Amazon, and I found some carbon fiber tape, and I put that on there. I did that because it's more of a kind of a modern look instead of putting something janky on there. Not that this isn't janky looking already, but I still wanted to put something on it that didn't really flash and stand out, but at the same time had more of a modern look to it. So I felt like this was my best choice. Probably could have done black or even maybe a gray, which that would have clashed unless you had the exact same color. So I felt like the carbon fiber was a nice look. Now, what I did is I lined it up with this. You'll see this seam over here on the plastic um, I don't know what you would call that, the, the trim going into the vehicle itself. It's got this seam right here and another seam back over here just to find a place that pleased the eye when it looked at it. I put this on there. Oh gosh, it's been about a month before, uh, that I put that on there. Clearly it's doing a job. You see where the tape itself is getting scuffed up, which means the paint's not. But right below that, <laughs> it's now getting scuffed up. So it looks like I may have to put a small piece of that same tape right beneath this. Um, actually, they sell a wider roll of tape. So I believe I might be able to actually peel this off and put a completely different wider piece of tape that will go all the way down both of those little uh, seams right there and wrap more going uh, into the other side of it. The door itself, um, will not cover what's below here. So what you see that's getting scuffed up now under where I have the tape would actually be exposed. So that's one thing that you're gonna have to be okay with is knowing that from this area on down, anything that you cover, like what I'm getting scuffed right here, that's gonna be visible outside once the doors are closed. So just a, a general idea. I mean, I'm just trying to protect what I have here. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. And again, I work. And uh, this thing's more fun to drive than my pickup truck over there. So I drive this a lot more. So it is what it is. It's one of those things that I created the issue by wanting to drive it so often. But um, just one, one little thing. And, you know, look, if I wanted to resell it and I don't like the look of this, you peel that tape off and then you have the nice finish on the underside of it. So just something I wanted to share with you guys. Hey, guys, do me a favor. Please subscribe to Average Bronco on YouTube. Share the video to your uh, your Bronco friends, maybe even your Jeep friends, too. Um, I've had Jeeps before and I, I have no problem with Jeeps. I enjoy them. Uh, just trying to get my subscriber rate up on average Bronco because obviously the more people I can reach, um, clearly the more videos that I can make out there. So again, if you don't mind, please share the average Bronco uh, YouTube channel and uh, share the videos whenever you get a chance and ask your friends and your family to subscribe if you don't mind. Thanks guys.